Devil's Choice. Devil's Choice? No, that's not Devil's Wager. Okay, thank goodness. So, let's go against these guys. Oh, wow. Okay. They actually want us to fight the skeletons, even though the Two of Scales is less? Okay, well, I would have actually wanted to fight the lizard men, but last time when I chose lizard men, he said, oh, you're no mighty hero, and so forth, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. He's a little bit split personality or something. So let's just do as much damage as we can. We can no longer counter attacks, so this is going to be very funny indeed. Watching me just run around kicking these skeletons in the shins, and by doing so, probably fracturing my own foot in the process. Oh, yes. Come on. Yeah, look at that. For some reason, I actually feel a little bit lighter without a shield on, so maybe it's going to help me out a little bit. As you can see, we've actually not taken any damage, well, apart from three damage, and that is only one of the shots from the musket men. So I'm actually really happy that we don't seem to be receiving grievous damage just yet. There we go. Yes. Oh, I missed that one. Ah, that was unfortunate. We had a nice string of combos going on there. And... Are you dying anytime soon? These skeletons have a lot more HP nowadays, of course, because we have obviously received the magical item, the pentacle, and that has improved the skeleton's damage and indeed their health. Yes, quite considerably, considering we do have a rusty axe. Oh my goodness. Okay, stay down, skeletons. Stay down. Yes, I think this is the last guy. Yes, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so we only took three damage, but... Yeah, it did take us quite a while to hack away at their bones here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so three gain cards. Excellent. We are getting some more equipment. Golden Ring of Pain. On striking a stunned enemy, the player inflicts plus one damage for every five gold they possess and they lose one gold. Well, maybe that would be useful on our boss. Who knows? And we gained 15 health, which is really not that useful. A Merchant's Favor. Ah, while browsing the wares at a trading post, you are approached by the proprietor. You look like a trustworthy sort. I am in debt to an acquaintance in Orenshire. He has some items of collateral that he is holding. If you deliver this gold to him for helping me, a piece of this equipment can be yours. Let's do it. Yes, there we go. You have my thanks. Please make sure all of the money makes it there safely. A hundred gold? Beware of thieves and bandits on the way and stay out of any taverns. Return policy. It's right over there. Okay. Well, that was easy. So what are we going to be getting? I would like a shield, if possible. Do I have any shields? I'm sorry, you've mistaken me for someone much richer. <laughs> oh, I would love to select that, but unfortunately, we do not have a shop nearby for me to spend my gold. So, yes, here's your hundred gold. You could choose a piece of gear I was holding as collateral. And what are we going to take? Well, we have a very nice helm. We have some nice armor. Healer's ring, I suppose, is the only thing we could take. But I do want to see what the Skeleton King helm does. A hit on the player gives the player's next attack a 25% damage bonus. This effect can stack up to three times, but is removed after making an attack. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. But if we go against Lizard Men... Because we are going against the Queen of Scales, are we not? So, I think a Healer's Ring is going to be better. Yeah, let's do that. And, yes, I sent a food delivery to a distant trading post, but I have received no word of it. Perhaps you will cross paths with the merchant I sent and lend a hand. This card's token is now ours. Excellent. Okay, now I do believe this is going to be the boss. No, it's going to be the stairs. Okay, so well, 16 food we have and 73 gold. Very nice amount. Traveling jeweler, excellent. We have 73 gold. Let's do it. Let's try to find Hag's Wrap, shall we? You know how I love that, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on, show me your wares. Oh, I'm so excited about seeing what we have here. Yes, please give me it. Please give me it. No. Ah, okay. It doesn't have it here, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, we'll go for consuming shame. Wait. Do I want to spend that much money? No. 
let's just do that. That's fine. Wait a minute. Shall we sell some items? Sell the Mage's Mask. And let's see. Golden Ring of Pain. I think that's okay. I think that's fine. Everything else is fine as well. Are we wearing both rings, by the way? I think we are. Let's take a look, actually. Yes, it appears we are. That is excellent. Yeah, not too bad, I think. Okay. That is absolutely fine. We can just continue onward, then. We have another golem hunting party. Okay, it's a one of lava golems. This is going to be much easier than last time, that's for sure. And we did have Mortal Whimsy then as well, so Mortal Whimsy was actually very useful. And they are going to be reshuffling, just bear that in mind. So, yes, this is the success card, thank you. And, yes, so Mortal Whimsy we had last time. This is going to obviously take a little bit longer, because we do have a rusty axe. So, let's just try our very best, shall we? And we'll see what we can do. Come on. Let's do this. If only Herney's Antlers actually did double damage to Golems as well as lizard men, that would be excellent, but we'll just have to do as much damage as we can. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to do the exact same tactic as I did last time, such as moving out here and getting absolutely murdered by the traps, but no. Let's try to get him over here in front of us so it makes it a little easier for us to be able to see him. There we go. Get pushed into the trap, please. Yes. Oh, ooh, that was close. Oh, I was just about to say, oh, I need to dodge this, otherwise I'm going to get hit. And thankfully enough, that was the last hit that he had to sustain before we eliminated him. Well, wonderful. And we are going to be given food once again, another five food. Captain's Woes, I think we can probably help this guy out. We do have a lot of gold on us, after all. That is exactly why I wanted to sell the Mage's Mask. And yes, he tells you the story of Great Woe, a cursed treasure. Many a crossed sword and a whole crew lost to Davy Jones' locker. Help him get his crew back. My crew was taken from by a lich and her crew of skeletons. Okay. One of Lich, four of Skulls. Okay, this should be very easy. Why not? Why didn't I do this before? Why wasn't I able to succeed? Maybe I died. Did I die here? Maybe. I just wonder why the token is still on this card, but nevertheless, let's do it. It's unfortunate that he didn't need gold, I have to admit, because I would have liked to have at least parted with a little bit of my gold. But it appears not. Now, does that graphic on the floor actually deal damage to her own units? That is something I am worrying about, actually, at the moment. Okay, let's try and take out the Lich first, shall we? Or maybe we could just try to... Dodge a little bit, or maybe once she starts casting, we could try to deal some damage to her then. Because at the moment, oh, at the moment, she is actually doing a lot of damage to us with her spells. So I think it's probably a nice idea if we just deal some damage to her. And she's actually stacking the same graphic on the same area, which is not too good, I have to admit. Because that means that when we step into it, we'll take much more damage. Not great. And, yes, I do apologize for the camera angle, but that is not my fault. <laughs> okay, there we go. We defeated her. And, oh, three equipment cards. What is going on here? This run is absolutely chock-a-block full of equipment cards. And we are now also being awarded the token, too. And, no, we're not going to be equipping that. The dragon ring. Okay. Desperate measures. Ooh. The mace inflicts more damage the lower the health of the wielder is. Well, our health is always low, so let's take that. Although killing the lich has freed the crew of the salty dog, Davy Jones must always receive a soul. One day, that debt must be paid. And we're being given that token as well. No doubt it's Davy Jones or some sort. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here is the last golem hunting party that we have to defeat to be able to remove these guys from our deck and they are only giving us one this is impressive 
This is very impressive indeed. I had no idea that they were going to be so kind. But yes, here we go. We just need to survive the reshuffle, and it's definitely going to be that one. Yes, there we go. And we get one Lava Golem. One Lava Golem by itself should be completely safe. And I'm thankful that it's actually always this map as well, because we have a great tactic to fight it on this map, and I'm just hopeful that I will not make any mistakes. So let's do this. Okay. Now, let's move on over here. Let's not get hit by that trap again. Okay. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Careful. Avoid the shockwave. Yes. Get pushed into the traps, please. Yes. He was pushed into that trap, actually, which is very, very good. Careful. I must remember, actually, when he's taking that unblockable swing, you can actually interrupt that and cause him to cast a shockwave instead and give you more time to get out. Although when he's casting the shockwave, you really just do want to run away as quickly as you can. But there we go. Very nice. No damage taken whatsoever. And now give me your weapon. The weapon that he was using right there. That would be excellent. So, two gain cards. Having dispatched a third group of the rock creatures, the regular surface raids against the humans cease. At the next village you visit, the people come out to greet you warmly. Hopefully not as warmly as the fire golems would greet us. The healer draws you two gain cards. Five gold. And one food. Wow. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is exactly what I like to see. One of the villagers, a crooked old crone, offers a craft for you a pair of magical gloves. You thank her and leave, wondering if she will ever deliver on that promise. And I think we know what that is. That is Hag's Wraps, everyone. That is my favorite card in the entire world, and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get it made rather soon. Lost in Swamp again? No! Okay, approach the figure. As you draw near, you realize that it is just a tree with a torn old banner stuck on a branch, swaying in the cold wind. Attempt to find a way out of the swamp. Oh no! Okay, this one. Nope. Okay, well, failure. At least it's not huge failure, I suppose. You wander through the mist for a day, but find yourself no closer to getting out. Wonderful. Oh no, and they're going to reshuffle when I actually find the success card. So let's go for the left one. Nope, <laughs> another failure. No, come on. Let's try to get huge failure at least so we can fight something. That would be a little bit nicer. Okay, okay, this one. Yeah, there we go. We found success. Now remember where the huge success is or the success one. Oh no, this one. Yes, we found success again. Wonderful. So now we can probably find our way out. Yes, there we go. Thank you. There we go. Very nice indeed. Traveling Tinker. Okay, they might have Hag's Wraps here. So, let's try, shall we? 72 gold we have. We're actually doing incredibly well. And now that I've said that, I've jinxed us. So, let's try not to jinx us too much, shall we? Aha! Skeleton King Shield. Killing skeletons gains the player gold. And you can press B, of course, to shield bash a target fleet cuffs which would be wonderful and we have great helm of reinforcement this unique item upgrades the class of your armor from light to medium or from medium to heavy excellent well we're going to be going for the skeleton king shield because we don't have a shield and i think we'll also go for the fleet cuffs as well because we don't have any gloves either and that will be fine do i have anything else to sell though this helm of reflection i could sell and that is it, I believe. Yes, it is. Wow, we are fully decked out, I have to admit. And, oh, there we go. We actually get an achievement as well. Very nice. Okay, so, exit the shop, and we're going to be heading on. And I believe this is the queen. Oh, no, it's the river. Okay, well, we're wearing light armor technically, so I should be able to do this rather easily. Yes, attempt to cross the river. Yes, we have three success cards. We should be fine. Yeah, there we go. And now it's going to reshuffle. 
Okay, this one is huge success, I think. Ah, I just missed it by one. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Unfortunately, we were not able to get the token yet again. Okay, so this will be the queen. Oh my goodness, there's another set of stairs? Ooh, that is pretty impressive, I have to admit. Okay, this is the final level. Devil's Wager. No. No. I'm declining. <laughs> Indeed, you are no hero, the devil remarks. <laughs> yes, I am no hero, not when you are around, that's for sure. Devil's Wager is just way too risky, in my opinion, at this late point in the run. And I personally think that that is just too risky. Way too risky. So, those are my thoughts on it. And that is the matter closed. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so we have Call for the Priest, and I believe... We might have the ability to buy Hag's Wraps, or we could buy some more Blessings. Let's do that. Wow. Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the healing. You will be fully healed the next time you are half dead. Whenever the player uses an artifact, there is a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown time by 80%. And of course we have this. Which is definitely something I'm not too pleased about. We could buy some more food. I think we'll buy some just to be safe. And I don't believe we need anything else. No, we do not. Can we remove some curses? No. Nope. Okay. Well, let's head on out. And I believe the next card we are against is probably not going to be the boss. But it will be the maiden instead. Excellent. Okay. Let's ask for gold. There we go. 25 gold. Whoa. 5 gold. Okay, that makes it up. And 40 gold. What? 40 gold. Wow. Okay. So there's the devil's carnival. So we need to find the boss. Oh my... This is rather tricky to deal with. There is something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest. Forget the path that brought you to this place. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Okay. I don't know which one. Is it this one? Nope, it was the left one. Probably should have gone for the left one. A black cat darts out and weaves between your legs. Distracted, you take a wrong turn and wander down a darkened alley. The mysteries of the carnival await you. And we need to roll again here. Okay, left one. There we go. Nice success right there. And now it's going to reshuffle. And let's do the left one again. And we get a huge success. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's very random. A muffled call for help brings your attention to a hall of mirrors. You stride inside, weapon in hand. In the reflected gloom, you can see some cloaked figures moving, but you cannot tell in what direction or how close. After some time, you come across a small dark pool on the ground. A few coins lie scattered around, stained red with the blood of their previous owner. And we gain some gold. Okay. Very curious. He's having to go through quite a lot to give us five gold, but there it is. You continue to make your way through the mirrors, but find no other sign of any life until you rejoin the street crowds. As you walk away, you wonder what thieves would take a person and leave their gold. Soon you are distracted, and the incident slips from memory. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest, the sounds of the crowds behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Wow. That is still a very impressive card. I love that card. Great. Okay, so there is the Queen of Scales. Excellent. And we are effective. We are quite effective against lizard men. So, as it says here, the majestic Queen of Scales spits powerful fireballs, and her totem prevents the death of any of her children. It is said that if you destroy a queen's totem, it will break the spell and even damage the surrounding lizards. It's unknown if anyone has successfully achieved this. Well, this appears to be one of the most difficult bosses we will see. If we can pull it off. We have full HP. We have so much gold. We have so much food. Like, that matters. But we have a very nice amount of equipment. And this is actually a very nice level to do it on as well. Oh, my. You are actually rather large. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's do this. Shall we? <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Okay, let's take out her totem first. So, let's try to avoid. Oh, my. Took five damage already. Not good. Let's try and take out the totem. Need to take it out, need to take it out, need to take it out as quickly as we can. Yeah, we took it out. Wonderful. Okay, so now 
We can deal some damage to her children. And hopefully at that point... Oh my. No. That was not good. That was not good. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. She is spitting fire at the moment, so let's try to avoid that a little bit, shall we? Okay, now we have taken out her totem, so we can very easily deal with her children by themselves. And we can just dodge her focus as much as we ah, as much as we can. That actually does a lot of damage. No! Oh, wow. No. Come on. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And there it is. We did it. Okay, my apologies for the silence there, but I did have to concentrate a little bit. I did not want to lose at this point, that is for sure. So there it is, the Queen of Scales, taken out in one fell swoop. And it is actually in a row now. We have quite a good succession of victories over the bosses in Hand of Fate, which is excellent. And I believe we will be heading on to another king, perhaps. I believe it might be the King of Plague, perhaps. Hmm, maybe. So let's see. For satisfying the Demon Trader, we receive Berserker Ring and Demon Trader 4. And what else are we getting here? For delivering the gold to Orenshire, we receive Food Wagon. For helping Captain Bocanera, or Bocanera, free his crew, we receive the Curse of Davy Jones. And we also have, of course, for defeating the Golem Hunting Parties, Hags Wraps. Excellent. I love that card. And, of course, we have Summoned as well. And then the last, but not least, as a reward for defeating his Lizard Queen. We have Immovable Object, Shield Breaker, King of Plague is our next opponent, and Minotaur Maze, or Minotaur Maze. So there it is. A very successful run of Hand of Fate indeed. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.